Hello, I'm Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and we're going to be looking at the BCC Flicker Fixer. BCC Flicker Fixer is a filter for reducing or eliminating flicker from our source footage. And it does this in a couple of different ways. So let's take a look at our first shot. And we can see the flicker here is rather pronounced. So I'm going to turn on the flicker fixer effect now. And let's take a look at what the default values have done for us. It's practically eliminated the flicker for us immediately. And let's take a look at what it's doing. In this case, we're using the frame analysis, which analyzes the whole frame and is perfect for where we have a flicker going across the entire image, as we did in this case. And here we can set up how many frames it's looking at and whether we're using faster analysis or more thorough analysis if we need to. And if we want to limit that sampling to a certain region, say for example, this area here on the right hand side gave us the clearest image of the flicker. We can just limit the sampling to one particular area here. Or we can take a look at what that transform is doing on the various color channels. So we can see that's evening that out really nicely. Let's take a look at our second shot now. And I'm just gonna apply the flicker fixer again with the default values and let's see what happens there. In this case, we don't get as clear a result as we were doing with the previous shot. And this could be even easier to see if we look at some of the different color channels individually. Let's take a look at the green color channel and you can see that without the flicker filter and with the flicker filter, we still have quite a lot of flicker happening. Now what we can use is instead of using the frame analysis, we can also use temporal smoothing. So this processes each pixel independently and is great for when part of the image is flickering and when some of it isn't. For example, mixing daylight and artificial lights and the artificial light area is the bit that is flickering. We can use temporal smoothing here and that will help just to even those areas out. So we can see with temporal smoothing on, the flickering on the side of our project box isn't being exacerbated by the filter, it's actually being helped. And you can see with the before and after, it's actually quite a large improvement. If we need to, we can also further isolate the effect using a matte generated either by After Effects, or we can use one of these standard rectangle, rounded rectangle or egg shape filters. So if we take a look at the mask here, we can scale this up, increase the width, increase the feather. And so now we're only applying that effect within the masked range. And if we use the compare function found in a lot of the BCC filters, you can quickly see the before and after. And in these examples, we've just been using the default values of the filters. So there's still scope for improving these results with BCC Flicker Fixer even further. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for Adobe and check them out for yourself. Also, follow Boris Effects on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the other Boris Effects products.